Very, very big misconception. I have other films that trump them and have no ceramic in them. Infrared coatings is where it's at. The best advice I could give somebody is when you go to get your windows tinted, don't just look at the price. Today's episode is all about tint. We're gonna learn a bunch of things about tint, but there's something special about the place we're at. And tint is one of those things where it's like, so-and-so's brother knows so-and-so who has a shop down the street or the garage, and you just kinda go wherever you see. But if you're in the Phoenix Valley, I highly recommend Cactus Tint, and I'm gonna tell you why. Before YouTube really kicked up full-time, um, I was doing freelance work full-time, and when I was looking for clients, going door-to-door, -door, knocking, the grind, I got no, 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 and I was just like, oh, dude, this is getting old. And I walked into here, and the owner here, Rick, literally flipped my day around, flipped my week around, set off that positive energy, and I literally had so much good luck after that. And all it takes is that one person, and the owner here, Rick, is that one person, but then while I was in here, I realized how passionate he is about tint, how much he taught me in a short amount of time, and I understand why he's so busy, because over the phone, over in person, he fills you in all the information, he's got all the details, everyone cares, their team kills it. So I'm gonna take you inside and introduce you to Rick and he's gonna just give us everything we need to know about tint and then what's going on with film, where you should spend your money, where you should not, what are your options, stuff like that, so let's go inside. This is Rick. Welcome to Cactus Window Tint. <laughs> Tell us about your wall, because this okay. wasn't here originally. And what this does, it displays what you feel from the direct sunlight. So when you're driving your car and the sun's hitting the side of your face, your arms, your hands, stuff like that, uh, it's not UV rays that you're feeling, you're actually feeling infrared heat from the sun. This display shows you what dealership film installed does, which is pretty much nothing. So it's a heat lamp, kind of same kind of heat lamp that you would feel from the direct sunlight or whatever's gonna keep your prime rib dinner warm at the buffet. <laughs> you can totally feel it. You can it. feel it all coming right through it. Yep. Um, our baseline film, which is 3M color stable, it's better than a lot of shops would carry as a just an entry level film. That's pretty good. But it works really good just on its own. It used to be, and this film's kind of like that, the darker the film, the better the performance is. The technology has changed. Like as the past few years, cars have changed, so has the window film industry. So what happens is, like on this film right here, it's called SunTech CXP. This film has an infrared coating, a very thin layer to reduce 70% of what you feel from direct sunlight. The heat rejection difference between limo tint and the legal 35 is only 6% difference. So you're not freezing in the back seat because you have dark windows, you just get more privacy. Also the negative side of privacy, at night it's hard to see out of. So you take the luxury of what window tint is and you make it like an inconvenience. I mean granted it looks cool in the daytime and makes your car look really, really cool, but at nighttime it makes it very tight feeling inside the car. And I know you like the dark stuff, Cameron. <laughs> kind of has negative sides to it. So when you start getting into what's called ceramic film, this actually uses ceramic properties in an infrared layer technology as well. So a small thin layer, but it works a lot better. Yeah. So as we get up in technologies, you do get up in higher price points. Um, but like I said before, it doesn't have to be super dark to be effective. This film does have dark films available if people want it. Um, this is also Skin Cancer Foundation recommended, UVA, UVB. Everything we do here has a lifetime warranty, so any color change, fading, bubbling, cracking happens, bring it back, we replace it. Crystalline, this is the, this was basically the industry leader. Whoa, um, you don't feel anything here. Yeah, it works really, really good. 97% infrared block, 99 UVA, UVB. And the one that's in this block, this light is actually the lightest one we offer. Um, it works fantastic. We do a lot of windshields with it. It's not legal, but it's, Hard to tell it's there. Great product for your windshield. Um, people come in with skin conditions all the time. They actually seek it out. They have prescriptions for it. We do it all the time. This is Spectra Photosync, our top tier film. I mean, you feel nothing through it. It's got 99% infrared block. Whoa. Pretty awesome. Not cheap, not for the lighthearted person, but we put this on all different vehicles. I mean, 
we never judge people come in here. We show even the people with like, you know, cars that are barely driving and they're, they're worried about their dog or their kids or just their skin or whatever. So people have different priorities and, um, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a Lamborghini or a, you know, a 1999 Nissan Sentra. It doesn't matter. We, you can put it on whatever. So what does this run for like a four door sedan? Um, anywhere from 800 to $1,100 depending on the car installed. Yes. Plus tax. And then also, um, like the windshield's 400. Oh, wow. That, that's crazy though. That's actually insane. Like you don't feel anything like, I guess you guys are watching. I don't feel any heat on my hand, but then like the first one was really hot and it just gets a lot less, but. And don't get me wrong. I mean, we still have people like the cameras of the world that love this stuff right here. <laughs> uh, we did this on his car. I uh, can't wait to hear what you think about it when you have it and you drive it, especially when it gets hot out. Um, I mean, the films that, that we carry, we're like a film boutique for your car. We want to find out what's best for you, you know, so we ask questions and we want to make sure that we custom tailor it specific to the customer, not just what's the darkest, what's the coolest, whatever. As soon as someone walks in the door, we say, hey, why, why are you doing it? We want to know why you're doing it so we can go, hey, this is what I think you should do or point you in the right direction so you can decide yourself and make it specific instead of coming in and going, hey, I want the dark one. You know, like instantly people think dark windows means, you know, cooler. That's not always the case. So being specific in what you want is important. Question. Ceramic is a hot topic. When it comes to the window tint world, what does that mean? Good question. Very, very big misconception. A lot of people think that ceramic means more heat rejection. It actually was a term that was derived from service drive advisors. Uh, what they did is around the late 90s, everything was metal. So all the films have metal in them. What would happen is when you put metal film on a car that has signal transmitting in and out, it would disrupt the signal. So the service writers, unbeknownst to them, they didn't know the industry. They were telling people, don't put metal film on your car, put ceramic. It should have been called carbon, but they called it ceramic. And so now, um, you know, everything non-metal is really considered ceramic. There are a few films like this film and other films out there that have actual ceramic properties in them. But I have other films that trump them and have no ceramic in them. So as far as performance goes, don't let it be the deciding factor. It really doesn't mean a whole lot. Um, infrared coatings is where it's at. Is there any other like sales tactics, you know, you hear out there besides ceramic to try and drive price up that people should be aware of? Is there any other? The main thing is that everyone has it in their head that they need ceramic because of what car manufacturers have kind of told them. Um, the best advice I could give somebody is when you go to get your windows tinted, don't just look at the price, figure out what film that person's putting on the car. So if one guy says, oh, you need this, and I have a ceramic film, ask the person, what brand is it? What line of the film is it? So if it's a Lumar film or whatever, find out what it is, what specific line of film that that is, and do your homework. I mean, you have to do it if you wanna compare apples to apples. You know, read reviews. It's important to know who's working on your car and how much experience they have. Nowadays, with the expensive cars and the computer systems that are in them, if you don't, ha if you have a guy that doesn't know what he's doing or a girl that doesn't know what they're doing, and they get something wet or damages it, it could be tens of thousands of dollars to fix it, and it's a headache. And a lot of times, someone won't be able to cover that or whatever, being that they don't have insurance. So you want to make sure that they're a well-established shop at a minimum. This car is a good example to show you that. We're doing it very, very light, and he has the whole door panel covered. So because this car has leather, if the water gets between the seam, it swells the leather. And door panels on a car like this are about $1,800 a piece. Uh, it's not to be taken lightly. It's not for the lighthearted weekend tinner. Um, I was seeing more cars damaged because guys just don't take the time to protect it. Um, it's super important. I mean, that's the biggest thing that you need to do really is to protect the car at all times. Like, it's just senseless. If you buy buy someone's a door panel, you are just careless, you know, so. But this film's super light, you can tell. 70%, um, so it lets in 70% of the light, keeps out 99% infrared, 99 UV, 62% uh, total solar energy. So this film performs very well. This is the Spectra Photosync 70. 
Um, it's called infrared, infrared radiation dispersion. So when the sun heat, like the sunlight comes into it, it just sends it on a goose chase. It doesn't get through it. Works really good. And this gentleman's 92 years old. I mean, he's a sports car at 92. Props to him. But he wanted to be able to see at night. That was his big concern. So we asked him, why are you doing it? What, what are you doing it for? He told us he was doing it for heat and UVs and didn't want it dark. He wanted it very light and user friendly. So that's why he chose this film. We make our clients pick the shade too. It's super important that they pick it. Because if I pick it and you're like, oh, it's too light, it's too dark. No, that's not acceptable. You picked it. Like you picked your shade. So that's what you own it, you know? And um, it's super important that we make our clients pick the shade. Looking at my car, we took some of the stickers off because we're gonna be rebranding Karma, so don't stress. I wasn't super happy with all that. So, you know, a lot of people were asking about the banners. Well, don't worry about that. Talking about tint, we're holding off on the windshield because at Rock Ship, we have a couple in there and I need to get the windshield replaced. So Rick hasn't touched that yet, so don't look at that. But all the, as far as the other windows go, we have the 3M ceramic, ceramic. IR, 5% everywhere. This is for show purposes only, <laughs> not, and for off-road use only. It's a Subaru, so it will be off-road. Yeah. But he did this because he wanted a certain look and he wanted a certain amount of privacy. At the same time, he's getting good performance as well with the stuff. He should notice a big improvement from what we took off the car to what went on this thing. I can't wait to hear from him directly on what he thinks. Um, I also love whenever a client calls me and says, hey, I love what you guys did. I love how you did it. And I love what the film's doing for me. People call me all the time and tell me, and that makes our job so wonderful. What is the first thing they say, heat or like the shade or the? Uh, it's mostly heat. Like yeah. the products that we offer are super high performance films and um, people really value that here. I mean, obviously it's 115 degrees in the summer. Um, when they get in a car that has regular dealership installed film compared to our stuff, they tell me they notice a difference between their friends' cars or their, their spouses that doesn't have the film that we put on. And then they usually end up bringing their spouse's car in too or telling their friend, you gotta get rid of this stuff. So there's a big difference between one film to the next. So it's, that's why I was telling you earlier, it's super important you find out what somebody else is offering. Because if you go, well, this guy will do it for 200 bucks and you're 800, well, there's a huge difference. You know what I mean? And why is it different? What is this guy using compared to this guy? So no matter what you're doing, compare apples to apples if you want to get a, a fair comparison. And the clarity is much better compared to what I had on before yeah. at least. Because what I had before was it was kind of orangey, yellow looking through. But now this is just straight up like you're looking through sunglasses. And the clarity seems much better. The car looks sharper overall. I just knew it needed that and I'm stoked to see like how drastic it is. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but Rick's kind of getting these doors closed. So we'll get it cleaned up and before the end of this video and show you what it looks like, but it looks good now. It goes so well with your wrap too. Yeah. Like it all ties in together. See all this is right here? See how it's kind of a cloudy little haze to it? Yeah. That's just moisture. Trapped, it's trapped between the film and the glass and it has to evaporate. So there's two stages of a curing process. The first stage is the temporary adhesive. So when we set it with our squeegee, it keeps it from moving around because uh, we use soap and water to get in place. And then we set it. And once we set it, it kind of gives you an initial tack point and then allows us to squeegee the moisture out. Then we use a really hard squeegee and get a lot of the moisture out. And by getting all the moisture out, um, it has a drying process. And that's when the permanent adhesive takes hold. So permanent meaning it can still be removed, but it's really hard to get off. So it's pretty cool uh, how it works. Um, but this haze is the first thing that'll disappear once it starts curing. We go below the belt moldings here too, which I can show you that. What does that mean? Okay, so this is a belt molding right here. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys would, would put the film bottom right there. And so when you roll the window down over time, a thousand times, 10,000 times, whatever, eventually it's gonna catch and peel. So by going below the belt molding, not only does it reduce any light coming in, but it keeps it from dragging on that sill. Mm. So it's important that we go up below it. We also do a really nice tight gasket. I, wanna, I can roll it down, I suppose, and show you, but we do it nice and clean and tight. A lot of guys leave like a good gap, quarter inch, you know, or bigger sometimes. And we go right nice and tight and then we shave it off. So it looks like we dipped your window, you know. So what we do is we oversize the top pattern. Um, we make the pattern bigger on the computer, so we, it's bigger than it should be. And then we leave it over the top, we go below the belt molding, and then we shave the top with the file. So it goes right to the edge of the glass and just makes it look like we dipped your window and 
you know, those hydro dips, you know, so it's just a better finished product. It takes a little longer to do, but it looks super good. So 20 inch roll of film would fit adequately over what's going on here. So we would just put the film over this. We'd use water, set it on here, cut out the sides, cut the bottom, roll the window down, cut the top portion, and there's our pattern. And what we have to do on a car, because they have curved windows, these are pretty flat, but some cars have curved windows. You have to grab that heat gun and you have to shrink the film to fit it. And that's what he's doing right here. He's got the film on the outside of that car and he's gonna shape that window to the shape of the glass. So that when you put it in, like a, a guy that buys the film from the auto parts stores and tries to tin it himself, he's like, I couldn't do it. There was wrinkles in it everywhere. Well, if he had shaped the, the window film to the curvature of the glass, he would have had a lot less problems. And it, that's what the wonders of YouTube, like people put videos up on how to do it. You have to make it fit the glass first. Window film comes off the roll flat, car windows are curved. So you gotta make it fit that curvature in order to have a good looking install. more out of these windows the tint is lighter but now that we got the heat down I chose such a dark tint before because one I like dark windows but two I want to cut as much heat as possible but now that the technology is to where it is and I went to somewhere like Rick who knows what he's doing and has a bunch of film that's high end and actually cuts out heat I'm glad I can see more out of the windows and know that the heat is not gonna be in here so I'm already enjoying the clarity aspect especially um, the windows look really good. I don't see like an orange tint or anything through here. Everything, it looks like a little, you know, it looks just like sunglasses. So that's kind of the way I wanted it to be. Um, when, you know, sunset would hit and stuff, the, the window would, you know, I mean, the sun would be going through the window and the, the sun is yellow or, you know, that color, white, yellow. And through the windows in this car, it was literally 